Hey guys, good morning to you both. Yeah, we're here at Daredevil Records, and it has been a lot of fun this morning. You're right, we have hit the first stop here in the scavenger hunt. You start at Daredevil Records and then you go throughout Niagara Falls looking at some of the historical monuments and some landmarks that some of the most historical women of Western New York had passed through. So we're here with Josiah Jackson, the visitor experience specialist with Niagara Falls Underground Railroad Center. And Josiah, you're actually from Niagara Falls, mm -hmm. went to the high school, mm -hmm. and we talked about this off camera, but this is not something that they even teach in schools, right? right. No, it's not something they really teach in schools. It's not really a part of our curriculum. Uh, like I said off camera, it's really like an elective that you can take, but I feel like it should be kind of pushed on our kids because they don't know this history. So. Yeah, and the fact that it's not a required course, or it wasn't at least when you were in school, mm -hmm. right? how important is it to see kids of all ages because you've been at the museum and you've seen kids come in and try to do this scavenger hunt. Yeah, um, it's very important because not only is it a sense of knowledge for these kids and a sense of where they came from, it's also a sense of empowerment to know the struggles that people have gone through before you and the resilience that people have had that came before you. It's a sense of empowerment for these kids, so it's very important. And do you have an inspiration or somebody that since you've been working with the, the Heritage Center that you've looked up to that maybe kids could also do the same? Uh, inspiration specifically to the Heritage Center? I would say just my colleagues in general. Uh, I've been there since I was a teenager, so uh, they've definitely gave me that empowerment and that knowledge to move forward, and that's definitely helped me be more resilient in the steps and the stride that I take. So, awesome. yeah. Josiah, thank you so much. So this is how you do the scavenger hunt. Let me walk you through it really quickly. So there are 11 stops on the scavenger hunt again throughout Niagara Falls. You go through and just like you start at Daredevil Records, you take a selfie next to the monument or the landmark and then you build up points through that way with your team. And then you come through to Daredevil Records on Friday night. There's a dance party at eight o'clock to wrap it all up. And the three teams with the most points get a cash prize at Katie. So also a really cool, cool way to learn about history, women's history in Western New York, but also an opportunity to win some cash as well.